Welcome back in. Team One Toyota Broadcast Booth, Aniana Cleveland County, 0 0. Fourth down for Aniana. They will punt. Bo with time and a good end over end punt from Bo. They will return it and a block in the back. Is there going to be a flag as he runs up the far sideline? And Riley McGill saying, hey, hey, I got shoves, but no call. So they will get it up to the 22 yard line. Best field position of the night so far out of two drives for Cleveland yeah. County. Yeah, you know, both teams kind of feeling each other out so far, I think. You know, two, three and outs. Uh, one penalty and we had a punt. So, two, you know, so, yeah. See if we can start over here. Morrison will hand off this side. Bo there gets the first lick and Keezy Mitchell, who had a great game last week, 12 tackles, just laid the boom. On that poor little running back. I believe that was number one, Rico Jordan. Yeah, so that was a good job there by Buse. He was kind of doing outside contain. Turned that play back in. He didn't make the tackle, but uh, he was the one that uh, like took on a blocker and then made him, made him go back inside. If you don't get the tackle, at least get it to go back in the middle of the field. Morrison will hand off to the running back. Luke Hodge there, the sophomore to bring him down. Number six on the carry, that's Rustin Roberts. And those linebackers so far tonight. Playing well. Yeah, absolutely. Defense has uh, come to play for sure. Had a great game plan. Got all the right personnel in the right spots, and they're, uh, they're playing with some attitude. They are. So far, 0 for 1 on the night for Cleveland County. Third and nine. A back to pass Morrison. Morrison with some time. Three-man rush. They'll get it out to number 15. And, nope, they're going to say incomplete. Hunter Cavender, one of those 6'4 receivers. Good job by the Aniana defense. They dropped everybody back and let them play in front. Well, those, you know, the, the, the receivers are eye-catching. I mean, they look like they look kind of like Aniana did last couple years, uh, but they're just not able to get to them so far. McAlpine's going to be back to receive on this one. Didn't have anything on the first one. Seven minutes less, 0-0 zero, zero here in the first quarter from Heflin, Alabama. Morrison will punt for the second time. A high, not that deep. McAlpine fair catch will take it at the 45-yard line. And they'll start on their side of the field for the first time tonight. And the Aniana offense back out. Jeremy, we saw the first two plays to David Hall, and then they rolled one out to the left, trying to get something going in that passing game. Let's see if they go to pass a little bit quicker this time. Yeah, let's uh, see what they do. So, do something a little different. Get them. A little, they got a little more room to work with now. Yeah. You know, this side of the, of the 50. <laughs> For sure. Moon, first time we've seen him all year. He's in at running back. McGill will go out to the left, as well as Eli Buse will switch to the other side of the line. They hand off to Colin Moon. Stops looking for a lane. And that uh, defensive line for Cleburne County, they may not be the biggest, but they're causing some uh, some havoc there in the back. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're quick off the ball. You're getting those gaps, you're kind of you're tough to block. You know, they're just yeah. running right at them. It's, it's tough to uh, tough to get a good hole for even as skinny as Moon is. Get him through there. Second nine four receivers for Pinion as he looks back to the sideline. Hodge McAlpine and then McGill and Buse. Pinion will draw back to pass. Quick slant over to Luke Hodge incomplete, and that was a bullet just right over his shoulders. And that'll bring up third down and nine. It's a tough one, a tough one to catch there, but the opinion definitely put plenty on it. Cleburne County didn't really bring their coverage deep. They kept it short. Near the line of scrimmage. Adiana 0 for 1 so far on third downs. Offense so far, negative five for Cleburne County, three for Adiana. Hmm. With 6-12 left, Pinion. Rolls out to his right. He's looking deep. He's got Eli Buse up, caught it up to the 35. Almost a face mask. Finally tackled down and a great job by Eli Buse. Wide open. Pinion, good job seeing his open receiver. Yeah, that was a good job. Yeah, like I said, he had plenty of time that time. Able to set his feet, turn his shoulders, and uh, hit Buse right in the chest. Great that, game there. That is a Woodman Life first down brought to you by Joey Bailey and Chris Neesmith. Halfway through the first quarter, Aniana. Getting near the red zone, ball at the 28-yard line. Moon still the back. They'll hand off Moon counter. Moon trying to get back to the edge. And that line 
didn't really do a good job of sealing it off. No, there was uh, five black jerseys there around Moon, and, and uh, just behind them were five white jerseys watching. So that will bring up second and about 13. They're going to lose some yards. McGill and McAlpine to the left. Just one safety high. Full house in the back. Hodge, Ragsdale, and Moon. Here on second and 12 with 5.15 left. Down to five on the play clock. Four, three, two. They'll get it off. They'll hand off. Nope. Pinion will keep it himself. He's going to get maybe a yard, and that was all they could muster on that one. Thought he was going to hand it off to Bo. That'll bring up third and 11. 450 left. First quarter, 0 0. Defensive line, like you said, they're still just they're, they're getting back there, causing uh, all kinds of problems with them running the ball. You've got Matthew Wilson, Caven Hill, Collier McPherson, Keezy, and then uh, Aragorn. Your lineman back to pass. They're going to go screen to Moon. Moon's got some room. He's got a blocker up to the 20, 15, 10, stumbles down to the five, and there's a flag on the play. It's a late flag from the side judge over here. Could it be a holding by one of those blockers? As we wait for the call, here it is. It is a hold. It will come back. Great play call by Phil Phillips. But the flag will negate it. Did you catch an eye on who it was? No. So instead of a Woodman line first down, we'll mark that one off. Back to about the 23-yard line. It will repeat the down. Still third and manageable, though, for the Aniana offense. We'll say third and six. Need to get up to about the 17-yard line. 4-15 left, 0-0. Zero, zero. Aniana second drive of the night. They're near the red zone. Moon the back to the right. They'll hand off counter to Moon. Moon trying to get to that edge. And I'm telling you, the key to the game for uh, Cleveland County is their defensive line, and they're causing havoc once again. Yeah. No gain on the play. Bring up fourth down and five. We're just not doing a very good job of blocking them. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> there's four guys, and they're three, three out of the four every time uh, around the ball. Aniana's going to go for it here, Jeremy, at the 23-yard line, fourth and five. You're looking at a 40-yard field goal, but Vargas has yet to kick one this year. Yeah, that's a, it's probably maxed out for him, especially if not having not played. Mm -hmm. Two receivers to the right, one to the left for Pinion. Pinion back to pass. Looking, 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 looking over the middle, up. Luke Hodge caught it. It's a first down brought to you by Woodman Life. That line right there, man. Plenty of time. Man. Plenty of time right there. Line did a great job giving him a pocket. And he stood back there, as we said. Uh, you know, got his feet set, turned his shoulders, made a great throw. Looks around. You can see he wasn't just keyed in on one guy. No. He had somebody he wanted to throw to early. He stayed on them a couple seconds. Then he came off of him and found a Hodge there. They're going to bring in uh, Braden Moore. Sophomore backup is in. One-on-one -on -one coverage to the top. They're going to run that read. They'll hand it off to Colin Moon and... There was nothing, and Collins going to lose several yards. Trying to uh, get Cleburne County to maybe bite on the running back. Well, they really didn't, but they still had them contained. Yeah. 250 left, first quarter, 0-0 zero, zero still. Pontiana can get Brody some time. We've seen it so far. You had the 22-yard uh, pass and then the big pass on fourth down. For eight yards, that converted it. Second and 12 at the 15. Pinion rolls out to his right. Going to fire it up. Corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Aniana. Brody Pinion silences people up to Eli Buse. From 15 yards out, Aniana up 6 nothing. Jeremy, it's plain and simple. Give the man time. Oh, absolutely. Give him a little time, uh, let him set his feet, like you said, and uh, he's pretty deadly. He is. Good good route running as well from uh, Eli Buse, the junior. Pinion will hold, 
Vargas will kick the snap to hold the kick. It is up, and that one was really high, but through the uprights. Aniana, seven to nothing. Two and a half left here on the Redskin Radio Network. Two minutes and 28 seconds. 